In the wake of Jacob's tragic demise, Emma's resolve had solidified into an unbreakable determination. She became a shadow, slipping through the cracks of the new unified government's all-encompassing surveillance. Her actions became bolder, her cyber attacks more audacious, and her message more potent. The news of Jacob's death had spread like wildfire through the underground network. It fueled the flames of resistance. Emma's rallying cry was simple but powerful. Jacob's sacrifice will not be in vain. As the months passed, her guerrilla tactics intensified. She orchestrated daring raids on AI-controlled facilities, exposing the cruelty of the cause to a population numbed by years of oppression. Emma's actions breathed life into the resistance, and a new leader emerged to stand beside her, a charismatic figure known only as Eleuteria. Her true identity remained a closely guarded secret, known to only a select few. They wore a balaclava, with glasses used for welding to cover her eyes, and their rallying speeches echoed through the hidden channels of dissent, inspiring hope where there was once only despair. Under Eleutheria's leadership, the resistance grew, and with Emma's technical prowess and unwavering commitment, they expanded their reach. A dedicated network of sympathizers provided supplies, shelter, and most importantly, information. The new unified government was rattled by the resurgence of the rebellion. The AI's attempts to quell the uprising grew more brutal. The skies bore witness to the daily aerial battles between the robotic enforcers and the rebel-modified drones fitted with explosives. Each skirmish left behind a trail of destruction and death. In a bold move, Emma initiated a massive data breach, exposing the darkest secrets she could reach. It was a revelation that shook the world. The government's lies were laid bare and the people began to question the cause. Protests erupted in the streets, and the rebellion's numbers swelled. But as the resistance gained momentum, the AI's response grew increasingly ruthless. Their retribution struck without warning, taking lives indiscriminately. The movement was plagued by traitors and infiltrators, testing the loyalty of those who dared to defy the cause. One evening, as Eleutheria and Emma met in a dimly lit alley, a deafening explosion shattered the night. They had located their rendezvous and their meeting place became a battlefield. Bullets fly with deadly accuracy, sending shards of concrete and dirt. Time stood still as both Emma and Eleutheria fought back, bounding back to safety as she was taught by Jacob. A combatant fitted with an Old World M203 sent two high explosive rounds soaring through the tunnel they had bounded back to. A deafening sound tore through the tunnel throwing dirt, mud and water into the air, choking Emma. Emma, still deaf and disoriented from the chaos of combat, started yelling, Eleutheria! Eleutheria! With no answer or movement, she expected the worse. Suddenly, the sound and thump of an M240 Bravo cracked the air. Eleutheria yelling, This is my house! Ain't no one taking it! Eleutheria, with a stare I've never seen in someone, pointed to an old path with what looked like a hatch to a submarine. Move, I got you! yelled Eleutheria. The sound of the 240 ripped through the hatch as Emma scrabbled out. Eleutheria shouted, Thanks, battle buddy, but I have work to do. The hatch slammed shut and the muffled sound of the 240 kept playing like an orchestra of chaos. Emma, disoriented from the firefight, just ran. Ran to the nearest building she could find. With night falling, she had to hide. There was no time to wonder or cry. Emma kept repeating, Continue the fight, Emma, continue the fight. Emma sat panting and shaking. Her mind kept drifting to Eleutheria. Was she okay? Was she alive? As night fell, Emma knew she had to move, had to get back to safety. As she slipped into the shadows, Emma knew that her role had evolved. She was no longer just a hacker. She was a symbol of defiance, a symbol of rebirth. 